Greetings, everyone. Well, today we've got a special Halloween treat. Well, it's not really horror-related, but I'll call it a Halloween treat because it's in the middle of Halloween season. <sighs> we got a new, a new package from Molly Ann Missy, who you may recall a while back sent me this awesome gem collector's set. The first printing of the first issue and four variant covers featuring members of the band. Uh, very, very cool set. I even did a little closer look at it. So, yeah, so she said, uh, didn't give me much in the way of a hint. She just said, their songs are better, and they're gonna get her. So, I'm guessing something Misfits related. So let's check it out today on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, I've been dying to see what she sent here, so let's see if we can uh, see if we can open this up. That's that didn't work very well. Hold on, we'll get it. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Use my my finger blade. Okay, what do we got here? Whoa, got two things. Holy, what have we got? Oh my goodness. Oh, you didn't. Holy moly. We have the Misfits set. So this is exactly the same as the uh, the gem set. We have, uh, so it's the first printing of the second issue, which was the one with the Misfits cover. And um, all, you know, green and shiny to kind of go with Pizzazz's hair. Very nice indeed. So we got that. And there's a second item in here. We have, oh, what the heck is this? Oh my god. There's a dark gem set. I had no idea this even existed. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's got uh, all the, the variant covers for the first printing of the first issue of the dark gem set. Holy moly. Wow, this, this is a total shock. This one I kind of expected from your hint, but this one... Wow, I, I didn't even know this existed. This is so freaking awesome. Thank you. Um, well, clearly, we need to head on down to the black box and take a closer look at these two. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. So here we have the Misfits set. Very, very nice. All shiny and, and beautiful, just like the, uh, the gem set there. And on the back, you can just kind of get a, a look at what all is inside it. Very, very nice. So let's uh, let's open this bad boy up, or I guess bad girl, and uh, <laughs> we'll check it out here. So it's got to be careful. Uh, hold on. There we go. All right. Unsurrounding. See all the hardcore collectors cringing. It's like, why would you open it? You just devalued it. It's like, yeah, well, I want to look at them, so deal with it. All right, so there we go. So much like the uh, the other one, I'm assuming this does this come off. Maybe this do actually maybe this doesn't come off. <laughs> I thought it did. Eh. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, it was just kind of stuck. I guess it's been there for a couple years. So there you go. So we got the uh, insert there, and we got the gem logo there. So and then of course inside of the issues. We'll take a look at it in just a moment. And there we go. So let's, uh, oh, there we go. Slides out nice and easy. Hold on a second. So, okay, there we go. So again, that nice sturdy box. I'm just going to set that aside for a moment here. And let's take a look. Here we go. Okay, so here, of course, is the first printing of issue number two of Gem and the Holograms. This one I actually did manage to get. This was actually the first, the very first issue of the comic that I picked up. Uh, I missed the first printing of the first issue originally. Um, I now have it, thanks to Molly Ann Missy. And we've got a little ad for Disney Comics on the back. But uh, very nice. I really liked the uh, how they did the first couple issues with like a heavier, heavier stock cover. 
very very nice so I uh, I basically picked this up just to kind of check it out um, I, I didn't really even necessarily mean to collect the comic but um, I just absolutely fell in love with it I was like wow the the artwork in this is amazing the story is actually really really good and uh, I just thought it was a fantastic update of the uh, of the classic characters so uh, yeah so I've basically been collecting it faithfully ever since so then we take a look at the alternate covers of course we have uh, some character oriented covers much like the other one so we have pizzazz and these also all have um, heavier stock covers as well and we've got stormer and it looks like they all have the same uh, Disney Comics ad on the back and then we have Roxy and then finally we have Jetta there we go it's kind of uh, kind of strange the the color scheme there uh, makes her look more white uh, she's not white <laughs> in the comics, but um, I think she was in the original show, actually, but uh, but not in the comics. So there you go. So we have all the misfits represented quite nicely. Very beautiful. Gotta love it. So, all right. So we're going to do much like what we did with the gem set. We're going to put these all together here. We'll put the uh, so we'll put the main the the regular issue in first here, very carefully, and I'm going to I'm going to slide this in between the regular issues and the alternates, and then put all the alternates in there as well. It's very actually. Hold on, I'm going to slide that out a little bit just so we can kind of get. There we go. Be very, very careful here. And there we go. All nice and snug and safe. All right, there we go. But we're not done yet, apparently, because we got one more set. We have the Dark Gem set. Yeah, I uh, fans seem to be kind of mixed on this storyline. I really dug it personally, but then again, I love gothy stuff, so I really liked their dark look, and I thought it was pretty rad. So here we have uh, the dark gem set. So this was a uh, I think it was a five part story, if I remember correctly. This is the first part. Uh, I really liked it. Basically, it was a story of uh, uh, synergy had developed a virus and, and they were kind of hinting towards that for several issues prior um and this virus gave birth to an alter ego of synergy called silica and then silica basically uh you know was trying to control everybody's minds and stuff through through gems music and stuff and even went so far as to create her own band called the sickness and uh and they were basically trying to uh, control everybody's minds but um, eventually, of course, Jem got her brains back and was able to defeat uh, Silica. So we slide this open. Oh, here we go. We got an ad for Ghostbusters International. Very good. Uh, and if we take a look at the spine, of course, it is black, as it should be. So here, we take a look. So we've got... Uh, so basically, uh, I forget which one I got. I, got. I didn't get the Jem one. I got one of the other bands. I think the one I got was Kimber, actually. Uh, so here we have Jem with her new dark, severe look. <laughs> Very cool. If we take a look uh, inside just to kind of give you a, a glimpse at the, uh, the issues there. So that's all good. And then we go in here. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, I think this is before uh, Synergy fully became Syn uh, Silica. She's just kind of... Uh, possessed here and taking control of Jerrica and then uh, if we get towards the end of the issue that's when we see Jem's new look and the holograms are all like oh, what's going on and then it all goes downhill from there so pretty pretty spooky stuff kids oh there's a lot actually there's a lot of gem stuff coming out on this I remember the Valentine special and got all 
these different uh, comics here. Samurai Jack coming back. It's actually a theatrical presentation of the original Samurai Jack uh, origin story apparently happening. I've never seen it. Uh, now, who is who here? <laughs> it's a little hard to tell who's who. In uh, some of the, Yeah, I think this is the one that I got. Uh, so here we have uh, Kimber. And if you look, actually, you can see that the, the gem and the holograms logo is sort of in this black shininess there. So you can you can just barely see it. You kinda, the light has to hit it just right. And then we have uh, Aja. Actually, maybe I have the Aja issue. I honestly can't remember. I have to go digging through my collection. I don't feel like doing that right now. Collection's a little bit of a mess at the moment. But... Uh, and then we have Shayna. There we go. And then we have another shot of gem. <laughs> there we go. So we get the uh, the closer shot and the farther shot. So there you go. Very very nice. Um, Wow, I, I really dig this a lot. <laughs> so I, I'm actually quite happy to now have beautiful representations of all the, the gothed up uh, gem band. You know, it's, it's pretty pretty sweet. So we'll uh, slide these all back in, much like the Mish, M Mishfitch, Misfits set. Oh, so this one actually has the dark gem face on the... Oh, wait, I'm looking at the front. Duh. What have we got on the back here? Yeah, on the back, so we got the the blue logo. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, Rose just went and grabbed it for me. So, yeah, apparently I had the Kimber one. And, uh, and then she found a couple of the other ones, too. So just uh, parts four and five. A couple of the other covers there. Yeah, so very cool. Thanks, sweetie. No problem. Can I have... Oh, that's from oh. your collection. Oh, right. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> My little helper, ladies and gentlemen. So we just got a little... Ah, there was a piece of gloop on there and it took a little piece of the paint off. Oh, well, that's okay. It's fine. Um, do that. And just one more look at that. Very nice. We'll do it like that again. And then we got... I think I showed you this. Ghostbusters International. I actually have not read any of the Ghostbusters uh, IDW comics. I've heard that they're excellent. Um, I need to get on that one of these days. There we go. So just slide them all in and just carefully... There we go. Okay. So, all good. Excellent. So, let's take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at all three of them here. Yeah, they're not all going to fit, but <laughs> there. Da da! So then, uh, if we put them sort of chronologically on the shelf here, they all line up very nicely indeed. So these, these will definitely be getting a place of honor on my shelf. Uh, very, very cool. Oh, interesting. So it says Dark Gem Volume 1. So I wonder if they were intending to do more and they, they like of one of the other issues i don't know interesting so very cool i love how uh, how they did that so there you go the two new additions to the collection thank you so so much wow okay now that is just too awesome so there you go all three box sets uh Thank I'd, I'm at a loss for words. Thank you so so much. Like I know how hard some of these are to get, especially these two. Um, I, I cannot begin to express how happy you've made this gem fan today. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Alrighty, thank you also for watching, and thank you to my Patreon sponsors. And we'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara. <laughs>
It's so cool, eh? It's so cool! <laughs> like, just the art is amazing. Yeah. What, what do you I do? have to look at these. What do you do? Well, I'm going to open them up, so just wait until I'm done. I knew you were going to freak out. This is why I wasn't even going to do this while you were here, but... Oh my god, <laughs> they're so cool! Oh my god, they're so cool! Alright, so now I need to do a closer look, which means I need a black box. I'll grab you a black box. <clears throat> Uh, holy moly. I didn't even know that Dark Gem one existed. That's so cool. That is amazing. Am I allowed to hold it? If you look at the back, see it has all, all five alternate covers. Yeah. And then the, mis I'm just like, oh then my the Misfits God. one has the main cover and then five, four of the, the band covers. What about the Gem one? And the Gem one has... Oh. Just no. gem. <laughs> no, it's well, it's basically the same kind of thing. It's got like the uh, the gem cover and then four. The dark ones, honestly, my favorite. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> you just knew I would freak. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. 